one of the best ways to get found on Instagram is to use the right hashtag. And I have an app to talk to you about today that can really help you figure out what hashtags are best on Instagram. Hey, this is Scott Weidenkivowitz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Instagram and hashtags and the app SmartHash. For a long time, I was a proponent of a bunch of other apps for Instagram, but those have slowly gone downhill and and a new app has sort of risen to the top. And well, the app's been around for I think a year or two now, and it has become a daily thing that I use for anything Instagram. The app SmartHash is completely free, but it's a freemium model, so the free version, you're limited to certain things. The app SmartHash wants to become your sort of go-to for anything Instagram. Not only can the app help you find hashtags, tell you which has hashtags are working best on your Instagram account, but it can also let you reply from within and see your analytics from within the app so you can do everything in one spot. So this is SmartHash. As you can see, SmartHash is, well, you can add groups of hashtags. You can see I've got a bunch of hashtags ready here and you can see that they're sort of color-coded. They're color-coded because though that's actually called a heat map. The heat map is used to tell you which hashtags are actually actually working best for your Instagram account. And you can see right here, the personal brand photography sort of hashtag set that I've created. There are a bunch of hashtags and a bunch are gray and a bunch are yellow, orange, and red. Now, the red one means that it is highly effective for the images that I'm posting on Instagram related to those hashtags. The orange is a little bit less, the yellow is a little bit less, and the gray basically means I'm not really doing anything for my account at the moment. But what here's what some of the cool things you can do with the smart hash set that you're doing. I can actually tap on specific hashtags and then at the bottom, copy the selected hashtags. Or I can just go ahead and copy them all. Or I can go ahead and split test. Split test will pick randomly from your hashtag set and will uh, add that to your clipboard and you can then copy and paste it into your Instagram post, into Buffer, which will then send to Instagram, which is what I do, or whatever you want. You can edit the hashtag set by clicking the little three dots by the set, and you can add in uh, more uh, hashtags as you want, and you can basically build up this archive of hashtags to and eventually uh, test them all. And the more you test, the more you'll find uh, different hashtags working for you and not working for you, and You'll, learn, you'll see that over time, the hashtag heat map will actually change. You can do as many hashtag sets as you want. There are uh, paid plans to do additional accounts. You can see here I have four Instagram accounts right now, and I can switch between them very, very fast. I can also go into the daily top 10, and I can actually see what hashtags are trending at that given point in time. And if one is relevant to my imagery, you might want to use it, right? You might want to use it because then your image might get seen even more. Those are trending hashtags. Then there's the search. I can go ahead and see uh, what, again, what hashtags might be trending right now. I can dig into them, see related hashtags, and I can copy them and paste them into a hashtag set on the fly. It's really nice to do that. And you can search for any keyword that you want to find related hashtags for. Let's say we just want to try Nikon. We can search for Nikon and you can see there is a lot of Nikon related hashtags and I can go in and I can select the ones that I want, copy those to Instagram or copy those to my hashtag set. Or I can dig in to one specifically by clicking the more button and find related hashtags that have been doing well. And you can see also this is has a bit of a heat map to it. Hashtags that have done well for other people right in the app. Next is insights. This is basically your Instagram insights built in to SmartHash. So I can see what days are better than others, what times are better than others, most engaging locations, uh, word length, what word length is doing the best. If I do over 400 words, I, as I can see, that's the most engaging um, 
posts for my account. Then of course there are comments and you can go ahead and reply to comments as you see them and, and uh, mark them as finished, things like that. So there you go, there's, there's comments. I can do it all right from here. I don't have to go to Instagram to do that when I'm already trying to figure out other things for Instagram. So SmartHash, you can get the app for iOS. I think it's for Android. There's also a web version that you could use once you have an access to it. You can access the web version if you do things like buffer on the computer. You can access all of your hashtags on the fly from there. The plans start at $4.99 a month, but when you first install the SmartHash app, you're presented with the option for a $50 for life account. And that is what I recommend doing. That's what I did because I only had to pay once and I don't have to think about it ever again paying for smart hash. So that's what I recommend, the $50 for life account uh, instead of one of the two uh, monthly or annual type of plans. Now, the link that I'm going to share in the description below to access the, uh, to, to get smart hash, that link is an affiliate link. I do make a tiny commission on that. So if you don't want me to get a commission on this, then just search for smart hash in your app store and then install it and buy it there. But if you want to support my videos by clicking on my link, then please go to the description down below to do that. Or just click that card right up there at the top of this and um, you can do it there too. I have a question for you. What hashtag has been working best for your Instagram account? Comment and let me know.